Welcome back. Madison is one of the most bicycle friendly cities in the U.S., but occasionally conflicts do arise between cyclists and motorists. That is what appears to have happened yesterday afternoon on Jennifer Street. Our Dave Delosier shows us the driver chased the cyclist for several blocks before getting out of the car to confront him. Madison is a very friendly cycling community. In fact, it's nationally recognized. But yesterday, at the corner of Jennifer and Ingersoll Streets, things were anything but friendly. The cyclist does not have a stop sign. The driver of the car did. Well, the driver was clearly not in the right of way, and it didn't appear that the driver uh, totally stopped. Dave Cheslevich is the executive director of the Wisconsin Bike Fed. He watched the video as the driver of the car chased the cyclist for several blocks. And obviously, cyclists are at a disadvantage here. You're behind 2,500 pounds or so of glass and steel in a vehicle that can go 100 miles an hour uh, up against uh, a cyclist who's on a 25, 30 pound bike. <laughs> During the chase, the driver complains the cyclist is taking up too much of the lane. The driver at one point complains that the cyclist is taking the full lane, but uh, cyclists can do that uh, when they believe it's necessary for their own safety. And that area of uh, Jenny Street is marked with sharrows, saying specifically that the cyclist does have a right of way to take the whole lane. You are assaulting me with the vehicle, sir. The driver eventually cuts the cyclist off and exits his car for a confrontation. This does end with him driving off, but it could have ended differently. So it was a dangerous situation and one that could have resulted in real tragedy if, if that uh, driver had actually hit the cyclist and that resulted in injury or even worse. Uh, not only would that be a tragedy for the cyclist family, it would be a tragedy for the driver. Wow. In Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. As executive director of the Wisconsin Bike Fed, Dave Cheslevich contacted Madison Police Chief Mike Koval and asked police to look into this. And the video of the incident has been sent to all Madison PD lieutenants asking them to see if they received a complaint from the cyclist.